are doing that. We are not uh, looking to provoke. We are doing that. We are not uh, looking to provoke. Uh, he has denied the allegation and expelled a Canadian diplomat. What's your reaction to that? And how confident are you in our intelligence uh, with this denial? As I've said, um, India and the government of India needs to take this matter with the utmost seriousness. We are doing that. We are not uh, looking to um, provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them, and uh, we want to work with the government of India uh, to lay everything clear and to ensure uh, that there is proper process. One, one of the things that is so important today uh, is that India and the government of India take seriously uh, this matter. Um, it is extremely serious, and it has uh, far-reaching consequences in international law and otherwise. For Canada, as I said yesterday, we're going to remain calm, we're going to remain grounded in our democratic principles and values, and we're going to follow the evidence and make sure uh, that the work is done to hold people Why to did you go public with this now? Um, over the course of the summer, uh, we have been uh, working closely with our intelligence agencies um, who are uh, moving forward in their analysis. We wanted to make sure uh, that we had uh, solid grounding in uh, understanding what was going on in analysis and indeed in facts. We wanted to make sure we were taking the time uh, to talk with our allies, to share what we knew. We wanted to make sure that we fully shared with the government of India uh, the seriousness and the depths of our uh, preoccupations and indeed conclusions. Uh, but uh, Canadians have a right to know and uh, need to know when things are, are going on like this and that's uh, why we made the decision uh, to do this. <laughs>